it's all it's it's an architect and welcome everybody to Anima 7 production today we're here with you with another Civ 5 of... yeah we wanted Bradley to be here so I could destroy him but sadly he wasn't available so um, we didn't even try what are you talking about so we're uh, going to continue watching Alex just destroy everything as we worry if we're even going to last another turn on ourselves. <laughs> so. You know what's funny? What? He's completely serious about that. He is worried if he's going to last another turn. I'm absolutely out of money. Zero. <laughs> well, Charlie, you know, that just goes to show you. It's a bad idea to be a Charlie. And Washington has got an army on my border. Well, Washington can have an army on your border all he friggin' wants. He can also suck a dick yeah. and get out of my country. He, well, I mean, he has an army in my border, but you don't see me complaining, or me complaining about him. Mainly because I think he's too scared shitting his little frilly panties. What border does he have an army on yours? Uh, you forget past San Francisco, everything to the north that touches the coastline belongs to me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I own the entire border. I can literally see Washington from Houston. The reason he doesn't bother to invade, though, is that I have a battleship implanted in every one of my cities. Are you going to end your turn? Actually, no, I am nowhere near done ending that turn. Oh, by the way, Charlie, look at that um, little artillery unit over there by your uh, great engineer. That great engineer? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, okay, yeah, what about it? I just upgraded it to rocket artillery. I just wanted you to see that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm not sure where my great engineer is going at all. Gandhi will never be dealt with, by the way. Why is that? Because we have the complete kill on, and he just sent out a whole bunch of those little, um... Uh, what's it called? Basically, he just sent out a whole bunch of archaeologists into the world. Like, a few thousand of them. Ah. Uh. I mean, like, seriously, a stupid amount. An amount that nobody ever needed. I need a golden age. You need a golden age. Yeah. When Charlie's praying for a golden age, God help him. <laughs> I'm always praying for a golden age, damn it. Well, you always gonna die like a bitch, so it really don't matter. Okay, let's choose some production. Uh, <gasps> Charlie. What? I can make missile cruisers. Oh, good. For uh, you. Well, screw you too, Charlie. Who's sending us beeps? I don't know. Did you hear a beep? No. A Discord beep? Yeah. Uh -uh. well, that was probably me getting sent a Discord beep. It was. Oh well. 
It's obviously not important then. New unit from Budapest. Budapest just loves sending me. Uh. Is there some particular reason? Hey, Charlie, look! I got a modern armor n mechanized infantry now. Yay! <laughs> I think the next city we invade is Agra. After I finish taking out the city of Lahore. Beginning the assault upon the city of Lahore. Well. Who is beeping me so aggressively? Why is this beeping happening? Ugh. I hate this repeated bombardment crap. <laughs> it's you who's beeping me, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know, maybe. You little son of a bitch. I will skewer you alive with your own intestines. And make you watch as I eat them. God damn it, Charlie. <laughs> and I can't hear a single one of them. Fuck you. No, fuck you. God, so many units to order around. God, this is taking forever. So many productions. Fuck! Uh, where's the harbor? Where's the harbor. Oh, fuck it. Just, just gonna do an airport next turn. You know what's sad, Charlie? What? Say Zhang is about two thirds of your score and he only has one city. He really makes you look like trash, you know that? <laughs> <sighs> El Dandelo don't even have a city anymore. And he still has a score that's a little more than half of yours. You're waiting on me. Yeah. I'm over here city managing. Could have warned me. Well, I, I, don't worry. I manage about 15 cities each turn, but... So I'm going to turn on the term tom turn timer. No. There will be no turn timers. That is some unfair bullshit. Because it annoyingly... 
favors small empires that have no ability to generate the level of wealth that I do. Like a bitch. Damn right you're a bitch. No, like... like you. A small empire like you, who is a bitch. The city of Lahore has been taken. Next, we march on uh, Vijayanagarna. Apparently, Vijayanagarna is actually a very weak city because my rocket artillery just, you know, friggin' damaged it by a third just by hitting it once, so that does not speak too well to their overall toughness. Oh, I got a full-on nuclear submarine now. Good for you. I think you mean great for me. No, no, just good. No, that's that's not good enough. It shall be great or that aircraft carrier off the coast will begin firing planes at you. So but what's it going to be? It'll be amazing for you then. <laughs> See, this is why this is why communism doesn't work. Why do you think I'm a communist? Damn. But if I'm a a a, 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 a democracy, Charlie. Yes. First, stop being stupid. Second. This is why I say communism doesn't work. Because in this particular case, I am technically the communist dictator who has effectively taken over the world and can do anything in my power to effectively make you my little blonde bitch. Yep. You get the picture now? Sure. Can you yeah. draw it out better, though? Do I have to put the blonde fright wig on you? <laughs> fright rig? A fright wig, yes. I swear to God, Charlie, I will skewer you alive. <laughs> if you keep pinging me. God damn it, Charlie. <laughs> Stop sending me cat girl videos, you sick weirdo. It's actually a song that Matthew made me watch a second ago. Well, guess what? I don't give a shit. Oh, it's... This, this girl's weird. You want to talk about weird? You're the one sending cat girl videos to someone while I'm playing world domination. Mm-hmm. I need to distract you with hentai. That's... What is wrong with you? Absolutely everything. That's it, I'm gonna start buying up tiles. Um, let, let, let's not do that now. Oh, well, uh, mm -hmm. Ooh, mm. Let, let's now not... you change your tune, don't you? Yeah, yeah let, let's not start buying up everything now. I'm sorry, uh, uh, would, you, would you prefer to retract your previous statement and beg for my infinite mercy? Can I just send you a Cossack? 
No. Okay. Uh, oh, please, great, powerful communist leader, don't start buying up my property and throwing me out. Your groveling pleases me. Perhaps your untimely demise will not come so quick. Okay. And it looks like Gandhi's down to one city now. The city of Mumbai. Yep. Yeah, now that Gandhi no longer has an army, or an air force, or really anything to threaten me, he's pretty much sitting duck, waiting to be cooked. Do I just not realize that you a bitch? So, you know how Washington literally captured some of my territory with the Great General? Mm-hmm. So, not only did he know take off some of the um, burning landscape around me, which is fine, not a problem at yeah. all, he stole one of my pearl resources. I think that's the entire reason why he did that. I mean, he only took one of them. I've got two. Right here next to each other. I'm sure I've got more coming in somewhere. Oh, that's fish, so maybe I don't. Maybe you don't. Gosh darn it, Washington settled a third city to myself with towards that silk. I've always wanted. Like I said, Charlie, just play it cool for now, and as soon as I get done over here, the entire military might of the Egyptian Empire will come screaming and pouring uh, I over Washington's am. borders. Currently am. I, I really... I don't want to have him developing that right now. I want him. I want that to do that instead for now. You do realize that in the event that I Not actually you. do yeah. s solve this problem, uh, I will be the one developing that, right? No, I'm talking about my city. I don't want my city to be developing what it is. Hmm. Seems kind of contrary. I don't want to build any more units because I can't fucking pay them. Mm -hmm. Where is my great engineer going? Probably to suck some dick. Like, I have no idea where he's going. You know what? I know the perfect thing to purchase. What? Or actually to produce over here in New Ramesses. You will know what it is in 14 turns. All right. Um, huh, I can't build a harbor on this city. Why is that? Well, so it's next to a lake, but not next to the ocean. Yeah, lakes do not actually count as real water. Fun fact, though, if you had um, built it where that little oil deposit is, between the lake and the ocean, you could have actually brought in a ship into the inland lake. Hold on, what? Oh, you can't see the oil deposit. Mm. Never mind. No, you're right, currently I can't. Yeah, there's an oil deposit between that deposit of aluminum and that stone quarry, I believe. I don't have aluminum oh, you... over here. Uh, um, oh, right. I am giving you so much late-game spoilers, aren't I? I don't have... 
Aluminum? Yeah, you have aluminum right there in Earthbound. You just can't see it. <laughs> Is it next oh to God. the iron mine that's currently here? Uh, probably, yeah. <laughs> I bet you any minute now, Gandhi's gonna be saying, uh, "Wait a sec, hold on, maybe, maybe we can make some peace." And I'm gonna be like, "Well, it's a bit late for peace now, buddy." Helicopter gunship's already on its way. Oh, I should start making more things over here too. You know what? I'm feeling charitable. I'm going to negotiate peace with Gandhi. Oh, never mind. He can't give me his last city, so... Yeah, never mind. There will be no peace. Hmm. So much city managing to do. Research labs and banks everywhere. Stock exchange. Hotels. Next turn. Yes, yeah, soon all of your little pathetic Russian citizens will come over here to... Um, Go on vacation! Yeah. Charlie. What? Why are there pathetic barbarian swordsmen sitting right there? Because I haven't killed them yet. I'm working on well, it. Well, now I have. I do appreciate it. <laughs> I am so ashamed of you. I want you to know that. You're like that little problem child at the daycare. That everyone knows is an issue, but no one will say anything about. Did you say the daycare? I'm just making a random non-specific example. Okay. Yeah, I mean, because obviously no one here goes to a daycare except Cassie. And... You know, we don't really talk about her job here. She doesn't work at a daycare. Didn't she used to? Used to, yeah. Oh. Well, see, that's like I said. Yep, Mumbai is gonna fall. The city of Monaco is back in my grasp. Oh, I made Nook Waston. So if he offers peace and act and offers you something and, re and something for the peace. He doesn't have anything worth the peace. What about if he just offers you money? There's nothing. There's no amount of money worth the positioning of that city and wiping him from the board that he could offer. He doesn't have enough money to do it. So. What am I using coal on? I don't know. You got a vessel driven by steam? I got... Um... One frigate? Is that a coal driven? That's a frigate. No. no. Uh... You could just be using it for a factory. If you have a factory. Don't. Not right now. Hmm. Is building a factory cost coal? Yeah, uh, yeah, I think. Oh, well. I was about to. 
Does it have a does a great engineer cost coal? No. Oh, okay. Next turn, motherfucker. Let's see what you got, Gandhi. Yeah, Gandhi knows it's basically over. I'd be surprised if he didn't send me an offer this turn. Huh. He did not. Well. The city of Mumbai is quickly falling to its knees before me. <coughs> Annex the city! Well, that's it. India does not have its original home continent anymore. Oh, good. Mm-hmm. Now I will consider making peace with Gandhi. You just fully wipe him out. No, it's too much work having to hunt down each and every one of his pathetic little, um, you know, archaeologists. Who did we completely wipe out? Did we wipe out Elizabeth? Uh, Yes. And how is Venice still here? Uh, he apparently has a boat somewhere. Uh, so I will open the World Congress, go to Gandhi, negotiate peace, and he will make peace with all of my cities. Very well. Goodbye, Gandhi. May I never have to look at your hideous bald face again. Ouch. Venice is a brutal, brutal person. Well, of course he's a brutal, brutal person. You're occupying his only city right now. You know what he just told me? That I'm not strong enough to make these demands. Well, to be honest, you aren't. I mean, from a tactical standpoint, Venice has no target to present, and you have no way of finding such a target. I can He's right. In the water. Yeah, but do you have the numbers? Did you just declare war on him? <laughs> <laughs> that is so stupid. <laughs> like, seriously, th there is no point to that. He has no allies. <laughs> For some reason, I'm, I'm, I don't lose as much money when in war. Well, you may have a war culture, I'm not sure, but um, I'm, I'm just going to march these guys right over here so that they can supervise construction. On me? Yes. I'm just repairing my burning city. I didn't ask what you were doing. I'm just being serious on what I'm actually doing. I am literally repairing a burning city. I'm not even, like, I'm, I'm developing a single Lancer there, and that's all I have to be developed in that city. I'm actually going to stop developing that Lancer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going to need a few turns to heal up. Well, actually, no. I can just, um... I can airlift a uh, whole bunch of units back over to America. Uh, the American area. So, yeah, I'll start by doing that. I'm going to build that Lancer. I don't need that Lancer. 
And uh, I need to purchase a worker over here because there is a whole bunch of pillaged shit just lying around out here that I want access to. You know what? Because I enjoy taking the moral high road so much in this game, I should declare war on you. No! How's that a moral high road? Uh, that's easy. You arbitrarily declared war upon a cityless, penniless loser who is stuck on a boat somewhere out in the world. That's because I made demands and he told me to fuck off. He even said I wasn't strong enough to do it. So now I'm going well, to declare war and do nothing. Well, you to do it. And now I've you declared war and I'm literally not going to do anything about, about this war. I'm just going to let it be in war. Charlie, he's right. You aren't strong enough to do anything about it. I am now. He's probably got a scout somewhere in a boat. No, he probably has an actual ship. We wiped out his city before he even got that far, before anyone got that far. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Other than you, I think you had a pirateer. Let me look up his logistics. He can't be farther than me at this point. Uh, let's see here. This is my military overview. Uh -huh. But until then, everybody, I hope y'all have enjoyed this, and have a good time. Bye.